opportunity. So on last week's video, you guys saw me make all the bed mounts for the truck and I kind of showed at the end of the video how I had the radiator in, it had the Optima battery in. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that I do have the Optima battery mounted. I made that uh, battery box to uh, go above the bulkhead and all the brake lines. I also got the radiator almost fully mounted along with I made this like little dimple die plate. Also made some little standoffs. So what I'm gonna do now is throw up some reels that I made from Instagram about making all those things because I was too lazy to film on my nice camera and make a video about it. But I do have the reels. I'm gonna change the audio because obviously YouTube won't let me use the audio that I use on Instagram. But I hope you guys like uh, seeing how I made some of those things. So now that you guys kind of got an idea of where I'm at in the truck, I wanted to show you how I'm exactly mounting the radiator, the Be Cool radiator that is. So what I did was I had my friend Logan, who's over there 3D scanning Mike's car right now. I had him design up in CAD this cradle, which is welded to the inside of each frame rail. And that you can see has some like uh, stuff taken out of it, make it lighter, make it all cool. But as you see, there are no mounts on the radiator that are welded on that get bolted to the chassis here anywhere on the truck. And everything actually just gets sandwiched in between metal and foam to where you will never have any cracking or anything like that that would damage the radiator. So what I do need to build right now is a top plate that bolts into this tube that will sit on top of the radiator. That'll hold the back right here solid and it'll have a piece of foam in there as well so i'm going to get to designing that out of some chipboard and then showing you guys just how simple it is to figure out where i need to put the weld bungs and then get everything mounted up cut looking pretty and then i will have a fully mounted radiator so i'm excited for that you know this thing is like a piece of art one thing we do here at the shop is that we always cover the fins of the radiator so that it doesn't get damaged no matter what uh, I didn't do it on the back because of this big small fan, but I'm going to get to designing up that cover plate, that top mount, I don't know, removable top cradle piece, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to get to designing and fabbing that up. So first step was getting this piece cut at around the length and height that I need. So it'll end up having a radius bent right here. But I also had to mark where it'll need to get cut out and trimmed to look all nice and be able to go around that weld bung. And then same for over here, just to make it look nice and even. But I'm gonna go ahead, mark out where I'm gonna cut it, cut it, and then see how it fits. And then you'll turn that into metal. So I got this all cut out of metal with all the radiuses in it. Now I'm gonna mark to see where I need to start bump breaking it over and try to get like a little bit of a radius to fall over this tube right in here. Because I'm using 080 aluminum, which is thick, I'm gonna do something called bump breaking. So I need to make a ton of horizontal lines where I will put it in the brake right there and uh, slowly bend it to give it a radius shape because I don't really want to lay it over a piece of pipe and beat it with a hammer. Um, I think that this will look clean enough, will look good enough, and I've never done this. So you guys are learning with me. I'll take you through what I do, but it's kind of straightforward. I'm first gonna draw probably, I don't know, five lines about 
Eighth inch apart. I think that'll be enough, so I guess we'll just see. So I drilled holes in this cross brace and then added, like just tacked in these little weld bungs. Now I'm going to throw this plate up there and see how it fits. If it fits all good, I'll know that this uh, radiator will now be securely mounted. All right, so I got this thing bolted in. I DA'd it and then kind of polished it a little bit to give it just a more shinier look. But the radiator is now mounted. It looks great, it's solid. And you guys are now caught up with where I'm at in the truck. So I think next is probably getting it ready to take the body up. It can't come off, but it can go up and weld all the tops of the cage and stuff. I'll have some friends here helping me with that. And then also down there where you can see the water lines, I need to build a cover for that. So I'm not sure what's next, but you might want to stay tuned. Uh, there's a big surprise coming up. Within the next couple of weeks, I don't know when it's gonna be, but it has to do with drag racing. Not with this truck, but with something else, but that'll be for another time. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment what you wanna see more of, and I will see you guys later.